translations, which meant taking a figure, making it bigger or making it smaller. And so when we talked about dilations, we talked about figures that were similar. So similar means they have the same shape, but a different size. So I'm going to write that right about same shape, different size. Which is exactly what a dilation is taking something, making it bigger or making it smaller. So today we have three different theorems we're going to use to prove that triangles are similar. Uh, my three theorems are angle, angle, side, 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 and side, angle, side. Which ones of those sound familiar? The last two, yeah. We talked about congruent figures and we use these two theorems. They're similar, they're almost exactly the same when I talk about similarity as well. So we're going to prove that triangles are the same shape but different sizes today using these three theorems. And you're actually going to go, Mr. Massa, this is great. This is so easy. So our first theorem is angle, angle. This theorem says, if you have two triangles and you have two angles that are in the same position and are the exact same size, then the triangles are similar. So in number one, we've got two triangles and just by looking at them, you would say, okay, they look like they're the same shape. They just look like obviously one is way bigger than the other. In order to prove that they're similar, I need to have two angles that are exactly the same. Do you see a pair of angles in there that are exactly the same? Which one? Uh, angle, a. angle A, yep, the, and angle D, the 75. So what we're going to do is we're going to put an arc mark to show that they're the same. And now you've got your one pair of angles. Angle A and angle D are both congruent. They're the same. There's your first one. Now, that's one pair. You need two pairs. Do you see a second pair right now? That's left over. Do you see a second pair? Those are the same? I got 74 and 31. Are those the same? No. However, you've got two blank angles here. Angle C and angle E. I need to figure out those blank angles to see if these two angles are the same. So let's look at angle C. How would I figure out what angle C is? Why would I subtract from 180? Perfect. The triangle always adds up to be 180. So I already have 74 and 75 of the 180. I'm just going to add them and subtract them from 180 to get what's left over. So I'm going to do 180 minus 74 plus 75. That's going to give me what's left over for angle C. All right, so what is 74 and 75? 149, good. And if I subtract 149 from 180, what do I get? 31 degrees. So angle C is 31 degrees. Oh my gosh, what do you see now? What? Yeah, C and F are exactly the same. So what am I going to put on C and F to show that they're the same? Yep, the second two arc marks now. So angle C is congruent to angle F. They're both the same. So this theorem says if you have two angles that are exactly the same, the triangles are similar. Are these triangles similar? Yes or no? Do you have two angles that are the same? Yes, you do. So these are similar triangles. They are similar. And there you go, you've proved it. Two triangles are similar. Without doing any math, what would angle E have to be? Yeah, 74. It better be exactly the same as this one over here, right? So technically speaking, you have all three angles are exactly the same, but we only needed two. That was it. The last part is now we're going to write a sentence, a similarity statement. 
a statement just says, hey, this triangle over here is similar to this triangle over here. And when I write the sentence, the order matters. You have to match everything up that's the same. So I'm going to name my first triangle, and you can name it in any order you want. I'm going to name it triangle ABC, just because it's order. Now, when I name the second triangle, it has to be in the same order. I can't switch them. So this is the similar symbol, just a little squiggle. And then I'm going to name the second triangle in the same order. So which one matches with angle A? Angle D. Which one matches angle B? E. And then which one matches angle C? F. There's your final kind of sentence there. So we proved they were similar. And then we wrote a sentence. And that's it. As tough as it gets. Questions? Feeling pretty good? All right, let's try number two. Again, you have to have two angles that are congruent, two pairs of angles, excuse me, that are congruent. Do you see one pair of angles that are congruent? V and Y. Yeah, they're already marked for me. Beautiful. V and Y. Ooh, is congruent to angle Y. There's one pair of congruent angles. Now you need a second pair. Why is angle X congruent? Beautiful. Vertical angles right here. Write that down. I'm going to tell you right now. On a test, on a quiz, on a state test, on, a, on anything you ever see, they will never be marked for you, vertical angles. You have to know that yourself. So you've got this angle X is congruent to this angle X. Now you've got two pair of congruent angles. Are these triangles similar or not similar? Yeah, they're similar. As soon as you've got two, they're similar. So because they're similar, I'm going to write a sentence just like I did for my last one. Now you can name the triangle in any order. You just have to make sure the next triangle is in the same order. So I'm going to name this one W V X on the left. Can someone raise their hand and tell me what the other triangle would be in the same order? Z Y X. Very good. So W matches with Z. V matches with Y, X matches with X. Very nice. And there's your statement. You're done. That was it. You proved the triangles are similar. Questions on that first one? Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. How you feel? Feel okay? All right, good. Let's go to the next one now. Next one is called side, side, side. As I'm sure you can guess. If all three sides are proportional, the triangles are similar. Proportional just means they make the same fraction, which is why we practiced the fractions earlier. So if they have the same fraction for all three sides, the triangles are similar. So I'll show you what I mean. In question number three, you've got a small triangle on the left, you've got the bigger triangle on the right. What we're going to do is we're going to make a fraction for each of the sides that match up together. So I'm going to pick one number from one of the sides, and then I'm going to pick the number that matches on the other triangle. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the small triangle first, and then the big triangle second. And it does not matter which order you do. You can do the big one first and then the small one, as long as you continue to keep the order the same. Order matters. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick one of the sides of the small triangle. I'm going to go for the smallest side first, side three. Which side does that match with in the other triangle? Side that is six, right? Those are the two smallest numbers. So my fraction is three, divided by six. 
There's my first proportion. Now, can you reduce that proportion? Yeah, what can I make it? 1 over 2 or 0 0.5. And I'm going to write it right underneath, write it underneath. I'll show you why. That's your first side. All three sides have to be the exact same fraction. So now I'm going to go to the second side. Um, the next one, the next smallest number is 4. Which one matches side 4 in the bigger triangle? 8. eight. So my next fraction is 4 over 8. Can I reduce that fraction? Mm -hmm. What can I divide both of them by? Even bigger, yeah. 4, divide them both by 4. What does your fraction become? 1 over 2. So far, are these the same fraction? Yes, they are. So, so far you have two sides that are proportional. I need all three sides to be proportional. What would my third proportion be? Careful. Five over 10, we're gonna do the small one divided by the big one, so we have to keep doing the same order every time. Five over 10, good. And can I reduce that fraction? Heck yeah, what can I change it to? Or can I divide it both by? Divide them both by five, so you'll get one half. Are all of those fractions exactly the same? Are they? Yeah, they're all exactly the same. So because all three sides are proportional, these are similar triangles. Similar triangles. They have the same proportion for all three. They're exactly the same. And so now because they're Similar, I'm going to write a sentence, just like I did for my last ones. I'm going to name the first triangle, and I can name it in any order I want. I'm going to go RQP. RQP. What would be the order for my second triangle? UTS. Beautiful. And that's it. You're done. It's hard to guess. So all three have to be exactly the same, all three of them. If only two are the same, well, then they're not similar. All three have to be exactly the same. Hence why it's called side, 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 and there's three of them. All right, number four, exact same thing. We're going to make proportions. All three sides have to be exactly the same. Now, you can do the big triangle divided by the small triangle or small divided by big. It doesn't matter as long as you keep the order the same every time. I'm going to do big divided by small this time because it's on the left. All right. Who can give me one proportion? Say again. Beautiful. 30 divided by 24. They're in the same position. Now this time, here's what I want you to do. We're going to do a decimal this time. Just to make our lives a little easier. Everybody take your calculator. Do 30 divided by 24 and tell me what decimal you get. What? 1.25. <clears throat> Excuse me. So there's my first proportion. All other ones have to be exactly the same. That's my first one. I'm sorry? Then your answer is they're not similar. So they have to be exactly the same. Like exactly the same. What would be another proportion now? Good. 35 divided by 28. I don't know what that is. So I'm going to do that for you. 1.25. Okay, so so far so good. I've got two sides that are equal so far. Now I just need my third one to be equal. What's the third side? 32 divided by 25. Good. And what is that? Ah, this time it's 1.28. Unfortunately, that is not the same. Because they are not the same, my answer is they are not similar. 
Because they are not similar, I don't write a sentence. The sentence is only if they are. It's not similar, I'm done. I'm finished. So it's not hard. It has to just be the same fraction or the same decimal every time. If the decimal is different, they're not similar and you're done with the problem, you move on. All right, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. How are you feeling? Okay. Let's go on to the last one. So we've done angle, angle. We've done side, side, side. Now we're going to do side, angle, side. And it's exactly what you think. You have to have two sides that are the same fraction and one angle that's exactly the same. And the angle has to be touching both of the sides. That's really important. This angle must be touching both sides. Must be touching. Right, so it has to look like a sandwich, essentially. Two sides with an angle right in between them has to be touching. So let's take a look at number five. First of all, do you have a pair of angles that are the same? K and N, perfect. There's your first part. K and N are the same. Angle K is congruent to angle N. Now you need two pair of sides that have the same fraction. So we're going to check the fractions and see if they're the same. So I've got two sides and they're both touching the angle. So I just need to make some fractions with my two side lengths. Who can give me one fraction, excuse me, I should use? Eight divided by six. Good. So use this one. Eight and six. Now you could do either way. You can do eight divided by six or six divided by eight as long as you keep the pattern the same. I'm gonna do eight over six, that's what Daniel said. All right, as a decimal, what is that? Eight divided by six, put in your calculators, what do you get? 1.3333333333. So, good. There's one side, I just have to check, does it match the other side? What should my other side be? 20 divided by 15. Good. Make sure you do the big one and then the small one. What is 20 divided by 15? 1.3333333. Are they the same? Yes, they are. So are they similar or not similar? They're similar. So because they're similar, I have to write a sentence. Who wants to give the sentence a try? Triangle what is similar to triangle what? David, go for it. Triangle K, J, L. OK. J, L. OK. Similar. N, M, P. Perfect. Again, could have done it in any order you wanted as long as it matches the second one. So there's a lot of different answers you could have had. All right. Last one, are you ready? No, not ready. Okay, same thing. You need two sides and one angle that are the same. Now, in this picture, it looks a little different. This picture has two different triangles that are overlapping each other. So I've got this small triangle right here, ADE, is this little orange triangle. And then I've got this blue triangle over here, that's this bigger one that's being overlapped. So it looks like this. I've got, here's my triangle ADE. It is literally on top of, ooh, here's my bigger triangle, here's my blue triangle. This orange one is on top of this triangle, so they're overlapping. So if I wanted to, I could separate them, right? But they're essentially just the orange one is on top of this little blue one. Now, first thing I need is a pair of angles 
that is the same. Do these have a pair of angles that are the same? Bryce, what do you think? Uh, B is the same as D. Well, it looks like it could be maybe if I moved it over, but do I know that for sure? No, I don't know for sure. I can't pick that. How about this? Here's my two pictures. What do they have in common? Yeah, A is literally right on top of A, isn't it? They share that same angle. So even when I split them apart, angle A is exactly the same in both of them here. So angle A is called a shared angle. So they have this angle as the same. It's shared. So there's my first angle. Angle A is congruent to angle A. Shared that angle. Now you've got your angle. Now you just need two sides. So your two sides have to be touching. So they must be these two sides right here. Now I need to make a proportion. That's either the orange one divided by the blue one or the blue one divided by the orange one. Who can give me two sides that are, should be a proportion? Fifteen divided by what? Yeah, perfect. Here's fifteen. Right, that's this piece of the orange triangle. The one that's in the same position on the blue triangle is this one over here, twenty-five. So my fraction is fifteen over twenty-five. And then I'm going to divide those. What do you get <coughs> when you do fifteen divided by twenty-five? Point. What? Point, I was going to say 0 0.6, right? Okay, there's one fraction. What's the second fraction? Well, give me the fraction first. 12 divided by 21. And I'm sorry, Daniel, what was it as a fraction, as a decimal? 0 0.57. Okay, are those the same? Da, 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 da. Not rounding. Are they exactly the same? No, they are not exactly the same. They must be exactly, you can't round, has to be the exact same number to a T. So are these similar or not similar? Not similar. So because they're not similar, sim, whoa, sim, wow, I really spelled that one wrong. Similar. Because they're not similar, I don't need to write a sentence. And I'm done. So as you're going through and you're doing the fractions, if you get something that's 0.6 and you get something else that's 0.61, and you get something else that's 0.62, guess what? Those are different. They're not similar. It has to be exactly the same number to a T. All right, now we've got 56. Uh, about uh, 14 minutes, which is great. We're going to do the back side right now. And you are going to attempt every problem on the back. I know there's a lot, but you're going to attempt every single problem. And if you don't finish attempting every problem, you're going to take it home for homework. And then we are going to check it tomorrow. Okay. Now, on the back, I split them up into sections for you. So the first six questions you determine are the triangles similar or not similar using angle angle? In the next six, you determine are they similar or not similar using side, side, side? And then are they similar or not similar using side, angle, side? So I tried to break them up for you so that you don't have to pick the theorem. You just have to decide are they similar or not similar? Okay, that's all I'm looking for you to do. You're going to try every single problem. And like I said, if you do not attempt every problem right now, you'll take it home with you for homework and we will check it tomorrow in class. You are gonna get a grade for it. So make sure you attempt every problem. You've got about 15, well, 14 minutes now to work. I want you to give them a go. And like I said, we're gonna check them tomorrow. So I should see you on the back right now. Doing each problem, I'll leave this up on the board for you. And then we will check them tomorrow. So go ahead and give them a go. Start in whichever ones you want to start with. You don't have to go in order.
start where you want to start. Okay, so go ahead and get started. Then we'll go from there.